Could the turmoil facing Iran today be an echo of ancient prophecy? For centuries, religious texts have hinted at a future where nations play pivotal roles in shaping world events. Persia, known today as Iran, was once a center of empires, revered for its power and influence. In the Bible, Persia is spoken of not only as a mighty kingdom but as a nation whose actions would carry prophetic significance in the last days. What if today's political and social upheavals in Iran are not random but part of a divine narrative unfolding? In the book of Daniel, we find a vision of Persia as a powerful empire that rises, falls, and leaves an impact on humanity's spiritual journey. The prophet Ezekiel, in his vision of Gog and Magog, names Persia as an ally in a final confrontation, a role that has stirred much intrigue among believers and scholars. Some interpret these passages as a foreshadowing of a future time when Iran would emerge in global events, aligning with other nations in a way that might shift the balance of power. Is it possible that we are seeing these ancient predictions come to life? Recent decades have seen Iran grappling with sanctions, political strife, and economic challenges that threaten to destabilize the nation. Yet, beneath these struggles lies a spiritual history that cannot be overlooked. Iran's biblical history as a land of kings like Cyrus the Great, who liberated the Jewish people from Babylon, contrasts sharply with today's strained geopolitical landscape. Cyrus, called God's anointed in Isaiah 45, was a ruler who acted as a divine instrument, freeing nations and allowing spiritual freedom. Today, Iran's path seems far removed from the vision of liberation and justice it once represented, but could this darkness be part of a purification that fulfills an ancient purpose? For spiritual enthusiasts, these prophecies serve as both a warning and a call to prayer. Biblical texts remind us that even when nations reach their darkest hour, there is potential for transformation. Just as Persia was used in ancient times to bring about God's will, Iran's present turmoil may be part of a larger, divine plan. Reflecting on these prophecies encourages believers to watch, pray, and seek understanding in these uncertain times. As we witness unfolding events in the Middle East, do you believe we are seeing the realization of these ancient visions, or do you see another purpose behind Iran's challenges today?